guys uh forgive me for uh not having a shave it's sunday it's humid we are on a holiday weekend uh and we're just about to have a massive storm coming in however i wanted to i, I meant to try and answer this question uh a number of times but i've been really busy uh everybody who bought the book thank you so much it's it's hit the number one bestseller list in the uk and uh twice uh, well three times actually um and we've been approached by a parapsychology organization to possibly publish it in another country um it's obviously there's there, there's a lot to this and as i said it's a book that's going to continually benefit and going to continually grow but i wanted to answer the question as a question came in um, because there's an element of the book where I talk about living a clean life and how does it develop, how does it help you develop um, your mediumship or your spiritual development. Um, the fact that there's two, there's two aspects that you need to understand. One is basically an awareness, and and the next the next stage is basically uh, action. Awareness and action are the two things that help you to live um, a clean life. Now, I've always maintained, and anybody who knows me, the people in the different groups that, that I'm in and personal friends that know me, I try to live my life under three rules, love, forgiveness, and compassion. I'm a big exponent of it. It's actually the easiest thing to say, but it's the hardest thing to do. It's the hardest thing to try and achieve. Um, because we try to emulate the life of Christ. We try to live as, as Christ would have us live, uh, and other great avatars like Buddha uh, 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 and Krishna uh, and uh, Muhammad and many, many different and, and spirit guides and that, that kind of attest to the way that we should try and live. Um, for me personally, you know, in terms of mediumship or, or the connection with spirit, it, as I've always said, it's, it's not just about giving a good reading. It's not just about um, people saying you're great at readings or anything else. Unfortunately, in spiritualism, there's there's massive amount of competition and there's a lot of ignorance. And um, we, we, you know, for for the past little while, uh, skeptics have been very quiet because they, they don't need to attack us because we, we do it within ourselves. Uh, everybody's trying to get a one-upmanship and there's so much backstabbing. Uh, and there's so many people talking about other people behind their backs. There's there's so many negative aspects of the the <laughs> what we are supposed to not uh, teach, and and we're not supposed to emulate that, but we do. And I'm not going to just blame spiritualism because in life in general, there's there's a competitive edge. There's this kind of natural selection process. If you go back to uh, uh, um, way back in the day, hunter-gatherer type thing, the, you know, men being hunters, women back in the caves, and you know, things change, but there's always been a hunter-gatherer type uh, lifestyle from tribes, etc., etc. Um, and always kind of an inner battle and an external battle. So what do I mean about living a clear life? Awareness and action. You have to be aware of your thoughts and you have to be aware of your actions. And what I mean by that is, if you really want to try and live a life with love, forgiveness and compassion, if you really want to try and emulate those great avatars that have gone before us and those great teachers, then it's very important that you become aware of your thought process 24-7. Or, or, you know, obviously not when you're sleeping, but you have to become aware of your thought process. And taking action upon your awareness. Now that's what I meant. When I talk about awareness and action, I'm not talking about action about doing something, giving someone five bucks or ten pounds or giving someone, you know, 
uh, food on the table. That's all acts of kindness, and that is beautiful acts that we can do to, to serve our fellow human being. But in order to really, really um, cleanse and purify ourselves, it's important that we be aware of our thoughts on a continual basis. And this awareness and action is what also helps you develop the power of discernment when you're dealing with anything particularly negative. Or it, you know, hopefully you never need to do that, but if you do. So the awareness is, is this. I'm going to take it to a very, very simple, simple example, and then hopefully we can build upon that. But gossip, if you're aware of gossip, and I was just going to talk about kind of gossip. So to be aware of something, everybody gossips, we've all done it. But the importance is, is to be, be having awareness of when you're gossiping because everything that we, we understand everything is energy. Every negative thought you have towards someone is energy. Every negative speech that you have against someone or something is energy. Everything is energy, and therefore, if everything is energy, it can't be destroyed, but it can be, can be manipulated. And if you go back and look at the history of magic, and even go back to the days of Alistair Crowley, or you go back to uh, Enochian magic, or you, you even study the Kabbalah in any way, is a very, very, very um, serious thing to mis uh, misuse energy. And any, any misuse of energy has a karmic effect on you, but also any misuse of energy has a detrimental effect to your own vibration and your own harmony. So, you know, in, in reality, any negative thought that you have or any gossip that you take place in is negative energy. And, and that's not a good thing. That's not you living a clean life. But having an awareness of it and taking action to change that thought process, to change the, the way that you view someone or the way that you, you, you look at a situation. And we're not, we're not perfect. We're not, you know, we don't live in, in lives where we have to walk around with, with robes and you know, sandals and kaftans and things. Um, I'm just checking this battery just now just to make sure it's all right. Okay, I think it's okay, but we'll find We'll find that out. Um, so living a clean life is really about you trying to emulate in in every possible way of love, forgiveness and compassion. There's always people trying to outdo you and there's always people ready to try and talk about you or to try and get something over on you. And, and to be honest, I, I try to keep away from all of that stuff. I try to keep away from... Uh, all of these, uh, you know, arguments and things that go on. And, and sometimes it's difficult because of, of my position within an organization. Um, but I always try every day to try and live my life with love, forgiveness, and compassion. And I am aware of my negative thought processes. And in the same time, you also, not we're not just talking about gossip, but how you even think about someone, right? If you think about someone in a negative way, then you're sending negative energy. You're sending an energetic force that is of a negative vibration, that is also an attractive force to negative energy, negative spirits, etc. So if you want to be a better medium and you want to have a better communication or a better relationship with your guides, your angels or you know even loved ones in spirit then it's important to try and live as clean life as possible and that means in your mind have an awareness of your thought 24 7 and taking an action upon being aware of those thoughts to change anything in life anything at all has to have an awareness I, I, I recently lost a lot of weight because I had an awareness that I was overweight so and, and I wasn't feeling too good so I had to you know, take the action to do it in the material world. So the same way that we take action for our physical world, our materialistic world, we have to take action in the spirit world, okay? In the spiritual vibration that we try to achieve. And that means being aware of that thought process that goes on constantly. If you have a negative thought, a negative vibration, you need to basically take that time 
breathe deeply and send it with love. Now, as I said, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, being whiter than white. Um, you know, people gossip and things happen. But if you take part in gossip or you say something about somebody or you have a bad thought about somebody in your family, it doesn't have to be mediumship. It could even just be a bad thought about, you know, somebody in the political arena. You know, people ask me, what do you think of this person? Ah, he's great. But, and then if I ask the next person, what do you think of that person? Yeah, they're great. I don't want to have any confrontation. I just want to be able to serve spirit in the best possible way I can. And I can have my opinions. Um, and those opinions are mine and nobody needs to take them on. But I have to have the understanding and the awareness that people also have their opinions. And I can't change those opinions. It's, it's not for me to change. It's, it's just me for me to put across my point or to put across your point, okay? So we have to be aware even of our opinions. We have to be aware of how does our opinions affect that other person. Um, we can go on and on and, and talk about choosing the right foods and nutrition and living a clean life and not drinking. Here, and that is another part of it, is taking action in the spiritual and taking action in the physical. I, I, I don't drink a great deal. I, if I do, I drink at home. And one of the reasons I don't drink outside is because I, I don't want to reduce my vibration and I don't want to open myself up to uh, negative spirits on the other side or even to communicating forces that maybe want to try and communicate with us. There's always this, there's always this thing about you know, making judgments on people and making judgments on mediums and things. And, we all do it. We've all done it. But the important thing is to, is to have that awareness that you've taken part in it, to have that awareness that you've done it, and then take a step back and, and forgive yourself bef and then, you know, forgive the situation and forgive others. I try not to make a judgment on anybody. And I, I try not to, you know, my life is my life and I run it my way. And, and mistakes that we make in life are just missed opportunities for growth. And we've all made mistakes, but we always want to point the finger at people that perhaps uh, have, have, have done something. And instead of trying to find a light in something, we're always too willing to find the negative first before we find the light. So living a clean life is not just about taking action in the physical, about eating healthy, about, uh, um, you know, doing good deeds for others. For me, living a clean life is about having an awareness of my thoughts and allowing myself to become aware and to have the, the, the wherewithal to take action spiritually within those thoughts. I constantly, in a, in a state of prayer, if I, if I have a negative thought or if I have opinions that are maybe hurtful or something, I, I have to have an awareness of it and I pray over it. So that, that's important for me. Importance is, is to be aware of my, my thoughts every day. Even speaking to someone outside of mediumship, even speaking to someone outside, always try in, in, in respond with people with love and forgiveness, compassion in your heart. Um, people don't understand forgiveness. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. And that's another lesson that, 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 that we'll do maybe at some point or somebody asks a question. Um, but I hope... I hope you kind of understand really that living a clean life is, is all about here and here, the heart and here. It doesn't matter what people think of you. It doesn't matter what, what, what people perceive of you. And it doesn't really matter what they say about you. Yes, that will have an energetic effect on your auric field. Yes, that will have an energetic effect on your spirituality. But the more that you become vibrationally aware and the more that you take vibrational action, then the more you will rise above anything that is uh, trying to subjugate you or anything that's, that's towards you or towards others. So living a clean life starts with in the morning, the very first thing that you think of, and then monitoring your thought processes constantly. And that might seem a lot to do, but the more and more you do, the easier it becomes. When you're driving down or you have a negative thought about something, you have to have an awareness of it and then change it. My wife is a brilliant teacher. She, she, she's, uh, she's the reason that, that, that I exist with all this and she's the reason that I always strive to be better. Um, and one of the things she always taught me was, was 
flip the switch on anything that, that, that worries you, frightens you, or, or makes you feel negative. And that's what I want you guys to do. When you're talking about someone in a negative way, flip the switch. When you're thinking about something in a negative way, flip the switch. And when you're trying to be aware of your thought process all the time, give thanks to Spirit for making you aware of those little misgivings that, that you recognize. As I say, we all do it. We've all taken a part in, in, in talking about others and in getting involved in things we shouldn't get involved in. We're always too, too uh, willing to make judgments on people and, and, and it's wrong for us to make judgments on people because at the end of the day when we pass over to Spirit we're the only people who will judge ourselves. The most important thing is that you serve Spirit with an open heart, with an open mind and with an aware mind, an aware consciousness, aware of your thoughts, aware of, of every little thing that comes into your mind so that you can take spiritual action. And that spiritual action is then a causative effect for action in the material world. Once you get up there, down here is okay. As above, so below. So if you're working higher on your vibration above, then it's going to emulate everything below. But if above is out, out of sorts and constantly negative, then below is going to be negative. So work on it. Work on being the best that you can be. Serve with an open heart. Serve spirit because you want to serve spirit, not to receive adulation. Serve, and it doesn't matter what people think about you. Just think good thoughts all the time. Be positive in, in, in what, you, what you believe in. But most of all, have compassion for others and have understanding that they may not be vibrationally aware like you, but your vibrational awareness can spread like a ripple in a pond. You can throw a pebble in and that ripple will, will, will spread. And, and that's just like prayer. The ripple will spread. But it's up to you to throw that pebble. And it's up, for, up to you to actually take that action to do that. You can meditate as much as you like. And you can practice in, in your mediumship as much as you like. But I personally believe being a great medium uh, is also more about being more aware of your own life and being more aware of how you live with those three rules of love, forgiveness and compassion. doesn't matter what other people do. It matters what you do. Because at the end of the day, when you go to spirit, that's what it's all about. Okay? So, living a clean life, just to recap, is about awareness of your thought and spiritual action. Awareness of your mind, spiritual action. That then comes here. As above, so below. If you've got any other questions or you want to take this discussion further or you want me to speak on more subjects related to this, um, I'm happy to do so. Thanks for spending some time um, with me today. Again, thank you for buying the book and everything else. It, it's only the start of this journey and I'm glad you guys are all on it with me because I don't see me as being di different to anyone or better than anyone. I see it as a, a journey where we are all linked energetically and we all learn and we make this, this, this world of the material matter a better place for us to cohabit with others. Um, I'm always watching what I think and I'm, I'm an, an, an observer, not a participant of it. I'm an observer so that my awareness is immediately brought into force and into play and I can take spiritual action upon that. I'm going to finish here because I'm going to have a quick coffee and then we've got circle tonight. I don't normally have coffee before circle but I'm de desperate. But uh, we've got circle tonight and um, I, I will be sending out prayers to everyone this evening. Uh, and just remember that uh, we're all we're all in this together. And please be aware of every thought process you have, and every negative thought process that comes up. Be it about someone, be it about a subject matter, or be it about something in your life. It's you can change it because you have the power to change it. And in this moment of having that awareness, will allow you to increase that discernment. Uh, that divine discernment that it's not something you learn it's something you develop uh, and that starts with awareness to change anything in life as I said before starts with an awareness 
if I have an aware that I'm, I'm, I'm overweight, I'm going to take action to, to lose weight. If I am I'm an aware that I have to turn right to get in a direction, then I'm going to take that because that awareness is there. The first thing in anything, be it spiritual material, is awareness. So, forget about all these tips, tricks, tools, and everything else. You want to be a great medium? Be aware. Because awareness follows reality down here. And then it will help you with your meditation. It will help you with your, your connection to spirit. And it will it, it, you'll develop in a much better and more powerful way to be able to serve. God bless.